dude. Studfish, man. Studfish. Oh! We saw that fish rise. It was in that corner. And dude, I hit on the spot and he ate it, dude. Giant freaking Yellowstone cutthroat. <sighs> Look at that, dude. Oh well. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Did you get the, the get the hit? Oh my god. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you see the fins on that thing? They're bright orange, dude. Your turn. Whammo! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Dude! Yeah, baby. Almost the same exact spot. Oh man, look at how pretty that sucker is. Man, they're so sexy. How beautiful that fish is. Yellowstone cutthroats, guys. Wow. Good morning from a remote, beautiful river. Casey and I are gonna enjoy this sunny day catching cutthroat trout. So far, we're off to a good start, huh? Yeah, it's kinda how you want every morning fishing trip to go. I was in the water first, had my chance, Brian jumped in, caught a freaking stud fish. These are Yellowstone cutthroats, so they're absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous fish. And as you can see, it's a little river, but supposedly it holds some giant fish. So we're throwing these little hoppers. It's more of a yellow stone. Yeah, a little foamy little guy. Man, they're eating them. Look at those long tentacles here. Dude uh, from the local fish shop in Pocatello designed this pattern. Ended up selling it to Orvis, but it's a good little pattern. This river is full of these nice little cutties. How pretty that is. I could catch that fish a hundred times and be happy. Oh, dude, that's a, big fish. that's a good fish. I waited and waited. Did you see that? He like came up and sniffed it. He came up so slow. That's a good fish. Wow. Just saw him flash again. Oh, there, yes, yes. Oh, that is a ah. giant, dude. Dude, he's like nibbling it. Should I wait a second longer? Yeah. Or maybe I try on something that's just completely different. You think a fish, when he just gets like a little bit of a resistance, he gets nervous? No. I just think it just depends on the presentation that, like that fly, when he ate that time, was a little closer to the bank. There he is. Oh, dude, you're yanking it. He broke me, dude. He broke it? Dude, <gasps> this is giant. Freaking 4X and he broke me. All I could see was his mouth come up and just slurp it. I waited, it, gave it a one count. He broke me, 4X. Catch that fish, Brian, that's a stud. I'm the locator, Brian's the finisher. That fish is huge. Bullpen. Bullpen. That looked like a good fish. <laughs> I just saw his mouth come up, dude. Holy cow.
redemption time. Cue the redemption song. So we found this little spot. It's a perfect, it's kind of a longer hole, probably 20 yards long. Caught a couple fish on the upper side. And then I had three great takes by a giant fish. Last time he broke me off. So I tied on a little bit different bug. Just actually the same bug, bigger. We're gonna try to get him to eat again and see. This fish is worth spending some time on though. If I can't catch him on this one, Brian tied on something completely different. So I think something something will spark me. There he is. Look at this fish, guys. Look how pretty that fish is. Oh my gosh. I had this fish hit me. That was the that fourth far. time. Wow. Dude, this is so fun. I might not hunt this year. I'm not kidding. I might just fish all fall. I can just tell you, the reason this, this river does so well is because it's artificial only, barbless, and it's all catch and release. So these fish are, are able to get big and healthy and you can tell it's a super, super healthy fishery when you're catching fish like that. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's a good fish, dude. Just give it one count, you know. Caught, caught his little brother. Yeah. It's okay, though. Buddy Rain Brown. Get out of there. Alright, let's find the bigger guy now. This is what we were using. A lot of fish making a play at it, but couldn't get any of them landed. So. I got a little timid. I'm gonna change it up just ever so slightly. Still has the yellow belly on it, but maybe that different looking presentation will entice them to uh, hit a little harder. They've been flashing at it, kind of turning off of it. So sometimes you gotta just mix things up until you find something they really like and can't resist to swallow. Guess it was the fly. Oh, dude, another great fish. Stud! 
Whoa! Wow! Man, guys, remember what I just told you? Sometimes you gotta mix up the fly. First time that thing floated by, he hammered it. Whew. That is a stud fish. Look at the belly color on him. Wow. Dang! That's bigger than the fish I just caught, dude. Dude, Look at the that? slab of that. Oh my gosh. That thing is a tank. Oh my goodness. <laughs> is that the biggest trout you've ever caught? That, I think, is the biggest trout I've ever caught. On a freaking dry fly hopper, are you kidding me? Does it get any better than that? He has just got so much freaking mass. I can't even barely get my hand around it. Time to let this beautiful cutty go. Definitely my best trout I've ever caught. Such a pretty fish. Hard to beat how fun that is, honestly. Like Casey said earlier, this is the kind of activity when I get older that I'll be doing a lot more of. As I physically go downhill and I can't climb the mountains, I'll be standing in the middle of a river, guaranteed. Just another slob of a fish on a grasshopper. <laughs> this is unreal! Unreal! Dude. That's two fish and two casts. And look how freaking rad that thing is. Oh my gosh. Look at Yellowstone cutthroat. Oh man, he's pretty. This has probably been one of the best days of fly fishing I've ever had. We've caught some absolute gorgeous fish, all on giant hoppers. Look at that. That is a healthy, beautiful cutthroat. Wow, one of the prettiest fish I've ever caught. I can't say enough about today. This is a little river, not far from my house, and it is just chock full of healthy, beautiful fish. And we're catching them all on a dry fly, and I don't think there's anything better in fly fishing than when you're catching fish on the, on the top, let alone a big bug. So, perfect day, wow. It's a wrap, everybody. It's a wrap. One of the best fishing days we've had in a long, long, long time. If you guys like this video, check out the other fly fishing videos below. Make sure you subscribe. See ya.